If you play RuneScape today, there's no doubt you've seen the concept of efficiency thrown around an incredible amount. In this video, I'll be exploring the concept of why I think there are three main scales that are ultimately good for the game. So let me start by saying, I think one of the most amazing and underrated things about RuneScape is the fact you can literally do anything you want, in any order as long as you meet certain requirements for the quests. So even if you don't like efficiency scape, you can just play your way, chop normal trees till 99, which is insane. And you literally never have to look or search anything about being efficient at all, if that's what you prefer. Anyway, the definition of efficient is achieving maximum productivity with minimal wasted effort or expense. It's pretty easy to comprehend, right? You set yourself a goal, say Barrow's Gloves, you plan on how to do that goal, and then you do it. If your goal was just to get Barrow's Gloves the fastest way, then congratulations. You have been efficient by being productive, and you're the new owner of a pair of these bad boys. If we look at efficiency in RuneScape as a scale type system, the first would be productivity. This is one way I think efficiency benefits the game. It helps you to achieve a goal you've set. As time has moved forward, however, the game has been figured out, so to speak, and a couple of different forms of max efficiency have emerged, like tick manipulation, formerly considered a glitch, but more on that later. So what is a tick? RuneScape as a whole runs on ticks. Every 0.6 seconds, a tick happens, and every action in game requires an amount of ticks. By using different actions within the same tick, you can manipulate the ticks and effectively animation cancel. There are certain skills that can also be trained with tick manipulation, such as barbarian fishing or three tick mining. This is often seen as sweaty or not fun. This would be the second skill, effort. So why is tick manipulation a bad thing or considered sweaty? Well, there are common statements among some players. Those being, efficiency is not fun or you should play whatever way you want and not care about being total maximum efficiency. And while I agree that you should play whatever way you want and not care about being extremely efficient all the time, I do think it is, or at least can be fun. It also creates a higher skill gap by adding more layers of gameplay. Though I think if it's the only thing being considered when playing, it can turn into quite a toxic mindset. When asked in a Q&A, the Jagex mods declared that they don't consider it a glitch or a bug, and in fact, in more recent years, they consider it a game mechanic. For example, the Inferno, where unless you're a prayer flicking, which is using tick manipulation to change or activate and deactivate prayers in the same tick, you probably weren't going to have enough supplies, and that they have actively developed for the game with this style of gameplay in mind. Also, they gave the reason, why shouldn't the extra effort be more rewarding? Which, I can agree with somewhat. I think it's a fair system. The third and final scale being cost. It can be argued that our most valuable currency is time. The finite resource we cannot really make any more of. Unless you're Jeff Bezos. He's definitely going to invent some sort of anti-aging drug or something. When we use our time playing RuneScape, some players just want to get some of the more boring stuff out of the way. They want to achieve things faster because they don't have a lot of time to play. And some players want to enjoy the way they want to, even if it is maximizing their time usage. A lot of people have researched and sacrificed their time to make the game more efficient for others. There are so many calculators and guides, but for an example, take a look at Osiris's guide to starting an Ironman. It's an insane tool that can be used by anyone and really shows the ways you can use time management to be efficient by multitasking and doing a bunch of quests at the same time all whilst preparing yourself for future content. This all culminates into spending less time doing things you would rather not, which in turn makes you play more. And that's a good thing. You can experience what you want to faster. When these skills strike the right balance, productivity, effort, and cost all form into efficiency, making you able to truly play how you want and maximize your time the way you want to. Even though I do ultimately believe efficiency in maximizing is a good thing, I can understand the other side of the coin as well. RuneScape hasn't always been excessively comparing hours or kills per hour, money per hour. Even social aspects of the game can now sometimes turn into, for lack of a better word, dick measuring contests, constantly comparing KC or drops. And when talking about sucking all the fun out of the game by use of spreadsheets and DPS calculators, Surely anyone can see that these factors can lead into turning new players away, 
or can bother some players who are just trying to enjoy the game their way. As I said before, that's the beauty of OSRS. You can play the game however you want. If you're not worried about money per hour or kills per hour, then just play the way you want. Set whatever restrictions you want or none. Even if you do want to be totally efficient, you can. And I think that's what makes this game great. Now, all of this doesn't mean to say that I play the game this way. It's actually quite the opposite. I run around doing whatever I want, whenever I want. I just think it's good to know that there is a ceiling that I can reach, that I can improve my skill and do better. I recently ran one of the community poll things on YouTube, and it was asking the question whether or not efficiency has ruined RuneScape. And although there weren't a lot of answers, it was quite overwhelmingly yes, it takes away the magic of the game. And while that is somewhat true, I really think that the answer is subjective. I think everybody decides what the magic is on their own. Just know that whatever way you decide to play this game, efficient or not, that's your choice and it's your adventure to take. Let me know your thoughts and if you liked the video, leave a like and subscribe for more. Looking forward to making a lot more videos. Thank you.